Join the Union Discord server today. Link will be down below in the description. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? My name is Prodigy, and welcome to another video on the channel. Today, guys, we're going to be covering more Melody of Memory news that was released this morning, or well, as you're watching this video, it was probably yesterday or the day before. But a lot of Melody of Memory news came out very recently, a lot of interviews, a lot of new information, and we're going to be covering all of it throughout the channel over the next week. Today, what we have is a Famitsu interview with series director Tetsuo Nomura, Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory co-director Masanobu Suzu, and series executive producer Ichiro Hazama. This is another lengthy interview, so uh, let's go ahead and just get right into this. Thank you for joining us. For the first question, does Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory take inspiration from the Theat Rhythm series? When the project started out five years ago, it was called internally as Project Kingdom Hearts Theat Rhythm. You sound like that was going to be the name from the start. Well, you see, Nomura pitched the idea to me a few years back, and we decided to tackle the idea. Unlike Theat Rhythm, which features all alternate sprites of the characters involved, Melody of Memory appears to use the actual 3D sprites of the characters. Is there a reason for that? The little characters you see on the loading screen were actually planned to be what you would see in the game itself, but then we also realized pretty quickly that it would look weird to rig these the way we wanted, so we decided to go with the 3D models to allow us for a more immersive experience. From the trailers, it seems the game will focus greatly on Kyrie. Is she perhaps the protagonist of this tale? You're correct, she's going to be the protagonist. This is is also why the illustration cover shows her in a throne, like Sora. The image also shows multiple frames. Directing your attention to the Sora ones, those are the Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3 endings, from Kyra's perspective or point of view, so to speak. I see. Though, if I'm going to be honest, this illustration was finished barely before the deadline expired. Nomura's right. Since I helped supervise the project, Nomura would sketch out the draft and we would ask for the development team's opinion and input on how it can be improved or if it's to their liking. I remember placing hundreds of calls to many members so I could get their input and eventually we settled on a design, very close to the deadline. It looks like you had a tough job delivering the illustration then. One one of the primary reasons was that this time it's not just one character, it's multiple. The previous artwork I did for Kingdom Hearts 3 did not have anything etched in his frames, so it was much simpler. I feel like I hear Nomura say that a lot, that he finishes stuff right before the deadline, regards to artwork at least, because I'm pretty sure I remember him saying that before Kingdom Hearts 3's. But Melody of Memories box art is absolutely spectacular, like it might be one of my favorite in the entire franchise, and uh, I might have to let that comment age a little bit because seeing new Nomura art always like lets you say oh this is my favorite this is my favorite but i really do feel like this carrier one might be up there for one of my favorites because like it's just so cool and like the throne uh sora artwork are easily some of my favorite artworks demora has drawn the kingdom hearts 1.5 box art had it the kingdom hearts 3 uh all in one package or the all in one kingdom hearts package had it what was the idea behind the graphics for the rhythm game itself you see there's a thin line between many effects and little effects if you put too many effects at once the player could get dizzy as if you were drunk and possibly have a headache from all those colors and effects and if you add too little effects the game will look unimpressive and boring we wanted the player to have fun playing through the songs while not bombarding them with effects i see so you went with that design in the first early builds of the game we noticed we got quite dizzy with how the camera moved and how the effects were laid out it took many sessions of ah maybe tweak the camera moving to be like this and maybe we added too many effects on that part until we got to a good result so it was a fight against dizziness i take correct we wanted the game to have the kingdom hearts games dynamic while keeping a consistent speed and pace with the effects so that players can enjoy playing through the songs without being overwhelmed it took quite a while to nail the right balance i'm not super used to rhythm games but i can kind of get what they mean in regards to the dizziness because i do know in games that usually have like too many effects in them i tend to like be more tempted to look away from the screen because it's hurting my eyes or because there's just too much going on there doesn't seem to be a focus of what i'm supposed to be doing how was development regarding the rhythm part of the game it wasn't easy i'll give you that timing each enemy hit to the music while not trying to overwhelm the player with inputs that would make them go this song looks too scary for me to do i'm not going to do it we wanted players to feel very balanced so that even beginners to a rhythm game can feel that they can do it that they can enjoy it. we experimented a lot i mean we raised and lowered the speed down more times than 
I can count. According to commercials, the game will feature over 140 songs. Will there be any arrangements, or will they be 100% original? 100% original. There won't be any melody of memory mix or any of the sort. Is DLC planned for the game? We have no plans to add any songs via DLC. No. Yes, we wish to deliver just a single package of songs instead of just delivering a smaller amount and then having players purchase more slash download more via downloadable content. How were the songs picked? Most songs were handpicked by me, Nomura, and Ichiro. We prioritized mostly popular songs, basing ourselves on CD sales of said songs, and songs that just touched deeply into the fans' hearts. But it was Yoko Shimomura who picked and arranged herself the song that you will listen as the title menus Dearly Beloved, as well as the credits song. Was Shimomura-san thrilled in composing the song? She sure was. Having played the theater rhythm games herself, she even pitched the idea to us. Why can't we do this with Kingdom Hearts as well? I once met Shimomura-san during Hanami. She was listening to one of Kingdom Hearts' soundtracks and just faced me and said, you know the rest, don't you? With a big grin on her face. The music for Kingdom Hearts is absolutely amazing and honestly, a rhythm game for Kingdom Hearts was a long time coming and shouldn't be any surprise to any Kingdom Hearts fan. Maybe the placing might be a surprise and maybe it being canon could be seen as a quote surprise. But the idea of the game itself shouldn't be because this is something that has been wanted by hundreds of thousands, millions of Kingdom Hearts fans around the world because the series is often put up there as one of the game series that has one of the best soundtracks, I mean like period. And that's up to debate depending on your own personal taste. For me, it's probably my favorite soundtrack in gaming up there with like Persona, Sonic, Octopath, etc. Square Enix in general, generally for me, tends to have some of the best soundtracks in their games because they have some of the best composers. But I'm very happy we're getting a Kingdom Hearts rhythm game. I'm not super used to rhythm games. I'm probably going to end up playing uh, some before Melody of Memory comes out. Even though Melody of Memory is probably going to play significantly different from any rhythm game I would end up playing because of it being like 3D and stuff. But I'm still going to probably try to get used to rhythm games a little bit more. I've definitely played some before, but I've never like played, you know, games like Theat Rhythm, for example. I might end up playing that before Melody of Memory comes out. Maybe we'll do a little live stream of it, but it should be fun. But uh, continuing though, this is the last part of the interview. How long is the game? Hmm, if I had to estimate it, assuming the player just advances straight to the ending and views the entire story, I'd estimate about 10 hours or so. Okay, so I, I kind of figured it would be that short. How many worlds does the game have? Around 47 or so, jeez. Out of the 47, 16 are original Kingdom Hearts worlds, and the rest, 31, are Disney worlds. It's honestly quite amazing that there will be 10 available languages to choose from the get-go. He wanted to tackle the challenge that is releasing a multi-language game. Since this game is supposed to be fun for everyone, we also want it to be inclusive, even to non-Japanese English speakers. Did the current coronavirus outbreak affect development negatively in any way? Well, we did double the security around the Square Enix building to ensure our workers managed to work safely and even switch to remote development, but remote development had its limitations. Creating assets remotely can be a bit complicated. Voice acting was pretty tough, especially the overseas voice acting because the risk level of the virus fluctuates a lot from country to country and not all voice actors are available due to the rules of quarantine on said country. The same can be said with motion capture and acting. We had to crunch a lot of time to make sure we weren't disturbing our actors' time while also keeping within coronavirus regulations. Well, that's good to know they're doing okay. I'm surprised the Square Enix building in Japan apparently seems to still be functioning for the most part. But I'm probably only saying that because I'm in the US and we all know how the virus is uh, impacting the US right now. But that's good to know that this game was still able to uh, be gone and out under all of this. And I'm really happy that we have developers like these, I guess, to rely on to bring us games, still bring us entertainment, uh, despite all the limitations, despite uh, the difficulty uh, that comes with the current times right now. It's really amazing that we got as much Kingdom Hearts as we did this year, despite all of the outbreaks, all the limitations. And while most developers pushed a lot of things back, we still managed to get some Kingdom Hearts this year which I know put a smile on a lot of faces and especially mine because I know during like these dark times not to be too cringy a lot of us do look at video games and video game series you know like this one to uh 
drawing our days a little bit and i definitely am anticipating that melody of memories man it's going to be so good i, I can't wait to get through it. it i don't care if it's 10 hours long uh i'm, I'm going to be happy whatever we get because at the end of the day i'm just surprised we're releasing this so soon in general but uh the biggest surprise from this interview is probably earlier when they talked about how this was in concept like five years ago that they started working on it like four or five years ago which is insane i wonder how much of that development time was in the past year i definitely feel like in the past year they probably worked on a lot more but man apparently this was something that was in the works for a while which isn't too surprising but at the same time it kind of is in a way because like i was under the assumption that this game got you know started uh, to be worked on like right after remind or maybe right after cage 3 like so early 2019 and then like would release now but apparently it's been in the works longer than that so four or five years ago that means that's well before the ps4 versions of the collections release so that's kind of crazy but uh that's gonna be about it for today's video though guys this was a very interesting from it to interview a lot of the stuff in this interview was talked about in other interviews but we got some exclusive questions here like about melody and memories uh getting dlc which it won't how long the game is gonna be how many wars it's gonna have and also like a little checkup on how um the virus and stuff impact development of the game which it's nice to know that um they still persevered you know and were able to get this game out uh worldwide actually for the most part in a really really good time frame but that's gonna be about it for today's video though uh thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it leave a like share the video with a friend or a family member and last but not least if you're not already and want to become a part of the union all you have to do is hit that red subscribe button down below my name is prodigy and i will talk to you guys soon peace out you guys